Wow, we're back on our Moffat Beach project for another site update. And I tell you what, this job just blows my mind. The guys are doing an incredible job and it's really starting to come together. So as you would all know from watching the past videos, we had so many delays, removing the house, uh, wet weather, concrete delays, all those types of things. But I've turned up here this week and I am so pumped because um, seriously, this house feels like um, we are building a piece of artwork. The detail in it is incredible. Um, I am I actually, I'm lost for words. Like I am so proud of my team, um, my carpenters I have on site on this job, my supervisor, my wife working in the office, um, the architect, the, our, all of our trades. Like this job is just incredible and I cannot wait to show you it at the end. But basically what's happened since we did the last update on this one is um, we've finally been able to get the roofers on site. So we finished all of our uh, 80 millimeter high density insulation. We put our rain screen, uh, we, on, over the insulation, we did all our hardwood battens. Uh, a lot of people are asking why we use the hardwood battens. Um, look, it's specified by the architect. Um, I did want to use MDP 12 um, H3 treated pine, but after a discussion with the architect and, and getting to understand why they'd specified it, um, it was good to learn. Like, it was a learning experience for me. So, extremely expensive. Um, actually, it wasn't something that we quite covered in our budget, but um, the idea of the hardwood is because of the location, it's near the ocean, a um, lot of salt air, a lot of moisture, and the hardwood's just gonna last a lot more, it's not gonna move around, and it actually ties in with the cladding, like we're putting hardwood cladding on, so yeah, mixing up pine battens with hardwood cladding, um, yeah, could have allowed for a bit more movement, so yeah, you live and learn every single day when you're a builder, so, um, but again, having that communication, talking to the architect and learning why they've specified what they have has been really good for me. And uh, it's one of those reasons I say builders need to ask questions, get involved. That's why our pack process is so uh, incredibly powerful. But the roofers have showed up. So the roof's going on, which is unreal. For anyone out there that's building or renovating, if you build a house within a certain distance of salt water, you have to, well, you don't have to, but you should have Colour One Ultra roofing because it's the only roofing material that has a 50 year I'm pretty sure it's 50 year warranty on it. If you just use normal Calibon, it's only gonna last 10 to 20 years um, before it starts deteriorating. So the only way you can tell that is by getting the receipt from your uh, roofing company. And uh, I know there'd be so many builders out there, especially in these times that are trying to save money that um, wouldn't be installing the Ultra because when it's on, you can't tell the difference. So make sure you ask questions on that one if you're building near the ocean. We've then got a mixture of copper stainless steel flashing. So a lot of detail in this job because obviously colour bond, stainless steel and um, copper don't mix together. They, uh, they, they react and they wear out and corrode and all those types of things. So there's a lot of detail, separation gaps between all the different metals. So um, the roofers have done an incredible job. I can't wait to show you some cutaways from, uh, from all that. And the, the part that really excites me is our chippies are finally getting the cladding on that and they are just absolutely, they're doing the, such an incredible job and it just goes to show that prior preparation is the key to a successful job. So all the effort we went into way back um, in our preliminary stages, all the shop drawings, signing off, checking all the details, architecturals versus the CLT drawings versus the, the juice, timber door and window drawings. Um, so we got the CLT panel up, we got all the insulation, got the battening, because we've got such a dense wall build up. And then obviously the, the, the routing of the window frame to slide our weatherboards in behind. So what actually happened is uh, there was a few spots that the, the routing out of the, the channel in the windows for the cladding to slide into was out by a few millimetres. So the boys, what they did as they were doing the battening, they didn't finish the battens around the windows. They left them out and then before they fixed those battens up hard around the windows, we run a straight edge along the wall, we marked it and we actually ran a router back around it and got them absolutely Mickey Mouse spot on. So uh, we'll show you some cutaways of that as well because it is awesome. So um, the boys are upstairs at the moment, we're laying our uh, ply flooring. So we're now at a point, we're actually gonna start really pushing along and hammering the internal trade. So stay tuned because tell you what, this job absolutely excites me. It's a piece of artwork and uh, it's just getting better and better every day.